but you're gonna do great. So just be yourself. My name's Darcy Lynn. I'm 12 years old. I live in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and today I'm gonna to be doing ventriloquism. There's so many good people here. I brought my puppet, Petunia. She's a rabbit, and she's a little shy, kind of like me. <laughs> For me, it's always been you know, hard to talk to people. I'm not good at eye contact and things like that. I first saw ventriloquism at my church. Something clicked, and I was like, I want to do that. I thought that the puppet's like kind of a friend there to help me along the way. My parents surprised me with a puppet on my 10th birthday. Ventriloquism kind of helped me uh, find my voice. We're proud of you. We love you. It's really helped me come out of my shell. My shyness is getting better, but there's going to be a lot of faces out there looking at me. I have to be confident. Hopefully, I kind of block everything out, and I kind of get like a little spunky. <laughs> I love you. I'm so proud of you. Without my puppet with me, I never would have imagined walking out onto the America's Got Talent stage. There she is, there she is. Hello. Oh, look. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Darcy Lynn. Okay, and Darcy, who's that? My name's Petunia. Oh, he talks. <laughs> is it a bunny? Yes. Oh. Is that a real bunny? <laughs> well, we're going to find out. <laughs> okay. And Darcy, why did you both decide to enter the show? Well, it was one of my big dreams. Um, but also, I would really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? So. <laughs> well, listen, Darcy, best of luck. I really hope you both Thank do well. Thank you so much. All right, good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna sing? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> so How long have you been doing this? Two years. No. That's all? No. Oh my gosh. Just two years. Wow. I, I believe that that rabbit is a real separate person. You have all the nuance. So cute. Exactly that. Oh my gosh. I love you, and I believe you're going to go far. You just changed your life tonight, young lady. Thank you. Can I ask you, what made you start doing this two years ago? Well, I used to be really shy and. Uh, I asked my mom for a puppet um, to help me, and she surprised me with one on my 10th birthday. And I, here I am. <laughs> Simon, 
I'll tell you what's important, Darcy. We had an act earlier on who were very good, but I said I'm not going to remember them in an hour. I'm going to remember you in a week, and a month, and a year. <laughs> You're both brilliant. And when you've got it, you've got it. I think what you do is really special, and I want to know where you found that bunny, because, wow, that bunny can sing so beautifully. Thank you. It was perfect from beginning to end, and I loved everything about it. Thank you. You know what's really sweet? Your puppet, I'm guessing, is exactly like you. Very charming and adorable. You made my heart melt. You were brilliant. I'm trying to describe how amazing it was. You know what? Oscar. Are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, D -D -D Darcy, I got a problem. A problem? Yeah, ever since you got the golden buzzer, I, I fell in love with Mel B. <laughs> Mel B? Shh! That is a slight problem. I know. I think she's afraid of mice. <laughs> well, Oscar, I think your bigger problem is she's a human and you're a mouse. Well, I didn't think that would be an issue. I mean, Heidi was married to a seal. <laughs> so, I decided to sing her a song Tell her how I feel. Hit it. Mel B, this is for you, baby.
Darcy, Darcy, Darcy. Darcy, Darcy, Darcy. You got these people on their feet. Okay, let's start with Heidi. How are you feeling? I mean, most people can't even sing with their mouth open, okay? <laughs> and you sing so beautifully with your mouth shut. I mean, <laughs> I can't you. believe it. I mean, Howie can't do anything with his mouth shut. No, I think you are fantastic. I love you. You were fantastic. So, Thank you. Amel, this was all for you, baby. It was all for you. Well. Darcy, you are just, I mean, you're just out of this world. You're my golden buzzer, and Oscar, I will date you. Whoa! <laughs> wow, no in the stairwell, guys. No Air Force. It's all about Oscar. It's all about Oscar, but no, Darcy, Oscar, you are Oscar, get just... a prenup. No, <laughs> That's what I forgot to do excuse last me. time. <laughs> oh, excuse me, yes, yes? No, no, B, you just look fantastic tonight. He said that you look fantastic tonight, Melby. Yeah. Thank you, so do you, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, get a room. One smaller than this one. Simon! What can I say, Darcy? You, young lady, and Oscar, get ready for the big time because it's coming your way. <laughs> You are so talented. You racked up over 200 million hits on, on the, uh, the World YouTube. Wide Web. The on, internet uh, thing. On the internet thing. <laughs> anyway, once you go mouse, you won't leave the house. Yes! Vote! <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm wrapping up. So, good luck tonight, Darcy. America has voted. The next act going into the semifinals is... You're so old, he could give you a heart attack. Oh, don't worry, Darcy. Simon knows mouth to mouth. <laughs> Ew! TMI! All I wanted to do was tell him how he makes me feel. Well, why don't you sing him a song? What a great idea. Simon, my hunk of hunk of Englishman. This one's for you. Looking out on the morning rain oh, I used to feel so inspired oh, And when I knew I had to face another day Lord, it made me feel so tired
And what's your friend again? Edna. Okay, Edna, I've got a bit of a crush on you. <gasps> Darcy, Whoa. you are in big trouble, but that aside, this was brilliant. Yeah. And let me tell you why it was brilliant. Because you're funny <laughs> and you've got a wicked sense of humor, and I am imagining in my head now a kind of a Sesame Street type of show for you. I think you are heading, when I say the big time, this is big, this is where you're heading, young lady. <laughs> Mel B, look at that smile on that face. What are you thinking? You know, I mean, the first moment you walked onto this stage, I was just mesmerized. Yep. You're self-taught, you're 12 years old. I hit that golden buzzer and I said to myself, she could easily, easily win this show, 100%. Yes. 100%. You've just got what it takes. And in Armenian, we would say, hold on. What? Surememkes. <laughs> I love you. 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 Armenian every week. <laughs> She's incredible. Okay, Heidi. My gosh, you really are a class act. And you know what? You're bringing ventriloquism to the next level. Who knew yeah. that you can make so many different voices? Yeah. You're incredible. I can say vote is now closed. Back to the results. So far, Preacher Forehead Loving Lawson is through to the finals. There are four acts left up on stage, but only two can stay in the competition. Who's it gonna be? Here we go. Darcy Lynn. And Mike Young. Please step forward. America has voted. The next act going into the finals is... Darcy Lynn! or something. Darcy, what's going on? Um, thank you so much. Thank you, America, for voting for me. This means so much to me. Thank you. Oh, she's a little shocked to the auditions. Now, this next act had everybody talking. It's our young ventriloquist, Darcy Lynn. Yeah. She even got spotted by one of the greatest ventriloquists in the entire world, Jeff Dunham. Check it out. Hi, Darcy. Hey, stranger. Jeff, hey, come on in. Ah, Darcy, you got a hair on your arm. <laughs> yeah, okay, hey, you can use that, thank you. That's a very nice hat that you got there. I saw you on stage, Petunia. You're great. Thank you. Oh, you're very nice. I gotta tell you, Darcy, it has been fantastic. I'm so proud of you, everything you've been doing. Thank you. You feeling good about it so far? And uh, nervous. Did you expect to get this far? No, I really auditioned with like low expectations, but now that I'm here, it's crazy. How old were you when you got started? In I got started when I was eight years old and uh, started doing shows, book reports, Cub Scout banquet, shows at church. And it's been downhill ever since. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Whatever. <laughs> Walter, are you a fan of America's Got Talent? <laughs> no. Walter? Oh, oh, it's a great show, greatest show on TV. I love America's Got Talent. By the way, it's in proper English. It's America has talent. Simon didn't think of that, did he? Doris, ready for you on set. You wanna come? I'd love to watch you. Uh, can I put Walter on the couch here? Yeah, I'm coming too. All right. Hey, kid, wake up. Are they gone? Yeah, they are. Look, I need you to do me a favor. What? Help Darcy make her dreams come true. I asked 
absolutely will, Walter. Good. You know, you're a nice old man. Yeah, whatever. Hey, is Tyra around here? Tyra is right here, boo. And here's some great news for Jeff. Right outside this theater tomorrow afternoon, he is getting his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That's amazing, right? It's major, major, major. He's also gonna be heading out soon on an international arena tour. So if you want some tickets, check him out online. All right, so here's some good news for Darcy Lynn. Way back in season two, AGT was won by the first, for the first time by a ventriloquist. Yes, so with a special performance for the finale, give it up for Miss Darcy Lynn. So, Petunia, are you nervous? Yeah, a little. You know, I, I feel better if we were singing with someone who's been in the finale before. Well, you know, I figured, so I invited my idol. Thank you! <laughs> oh my god! Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, it's the second season of America's Got Talent winner, Winston the Impersonating Turtle! I. Uh. Okay, Well, uh, you know, Winston brought Terry Fader, too. Thank you. It's so good to see you, Winston. Oh, hey, hey, Petunia, I, I saw that Darcy's 80-year-old friend, Edna, is in love with Silent Cow. Yeah, she is. But, you know, I'm not so sure about it. You know, think about it. Age, thoughts, wrinkles, broken hips. I think you just described Silent's wedding night. Now, B, that was for you. <laughs> you know, I'm really curious. Are you two competitive with each other? Yeah, in sports, you know, in school, we are on track together and he always wins. Yeah, that's because you always stop halfway to take a nap. Get it? Tortoise in the hair, get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Winston, we get it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm the best at telling jokes, by the way, Petunia. Not as good as me. What makes you say that? No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Wow, Winston, you sound like the original. Hello, impersonating turtle. Any note you can reach, I can reach higher. I can sing any note higher than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. 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 No, you can't. No, You can hold, I can hold longer. I can hold any note longer than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. the stage before as a contestant on AGT. Do you remember how you were feeling, like waiting for the results? I do. I, you know, my heart was beating so hard that I really thought you could see it through, uh, through my clothing. Yeah, and his, his, his hands were sweaty. I can attest to that. Woo, his hands were sweaty. Woo. Ooh, ah. Okay, well, you can catch Terry's incredible show at the Mirage in Las Vegas. And Terry's show, get this, it has just been voted the best show in Vegas again. Again, congratulations for that. One more time for Darcy Lynn and Terry Fader. Yeah, and now, I need you guys to listen up. One of my favorite shows back to Hollywood. So tonight, 10 acts are fighting one last time for $1 million. But who's gonna win? 
We'll get that news tomorrow in the season finale. The show is going to be beyond epic. We've got the results and we've got your favorite superstars. We got Kelly Clarkson, we got Shania Twain, Jeff Dunham, Terry Fader, and lots more. The time, 8, 7 central, the place right in front of your TV. It's gonna be hands down the biggest AGT show ever. All right, back at these auditions, we saw our auditions, we saw a young ventriloquist and she was so good. Mel B pounced on that golden buzzer. Fast forward to tonight and she's about to perform for $1 million. Here's Darcy Lynn. Throughout my journey on America's Got Talent, some people have been sending me videos of them trying ventriloquism. Say hi to Darcy Lynn, Cindy. Hi, Darcy Lynn. Oh. From adults to teens to kids. <laughs> it just means so much to me. Hey, Darcy, I wish you good luck from Spain. Love you. This is impossible. Two years ago, I started ventriloquism. No. And I would just practice the ABCs. A, C, G, go to the R, C. And now I'm in the finals of America's Got Talent. If you would have told me that when I was first teaching myself, I would have been like, you're crazy, you're crazy. <laughs> Hi, Darcy. You inspired me to learn ventriloquism. Good luck. To know that people have been trying it and are interested in doing it because of me. It's just unbelievable. We wish you luck in the finals. Yeah, we know you're gonna do great. I am one performance away from maybe winning America's Got Talent. I'm just hoping for it. Good luck, Darcy. Good Darcy! Well, guys, here we are in the finals of America's Got Talent. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm nervous. I, I hate dress rehearsal. Um, um, Oscar? Yeah, this is live. Uh, what? Uh. Oscar, uh, Oscar. Darcy, don't worry about him. But more importantly, um, do you think the camera's getting my good side? What? Uh, Oscar, Oscar, y yeah, guys, get it together. We're about to perform in front of 16 million people. Ugh. <laughs> Terrific, and I have a faded mouse and a bunny who thinks she's a diva. Say what? Yeah. All right, Os Oscar. Oh, guys. We need to figure out who's going to sing tonight. Um, obviously it should be me. I'm the reason we're all here. Excuse me? I I I'm the reason we're here. I, I got us to the semi finals. I'm the better singer. No, I'm the better guys. Shh, shh. <laughs> okay, Oscar. Exactly which one of us got the golden buzzer? Hmm? Hmm? Petunia. Guys, you shouldn't fight. You need to work together, like some of the famous duos like Laure Laurel and Hardy, Hall and Oates, Simon and Nell B. <laughs> uh, well, at least two out of those three are good examples. Sorry. You know what, guys, I think everyone here is wanting us all to sing. So I was thinking that we could sing a song. It's by Paul McCartney and John Lennon. It's called, a little, with a little help from my friends. Whoa. That's funny. A mouse and a bunny singing a song written by two beetles? <laughs> well, great. So, guys, what part am I singing? Um, uh, uh, Darcy, uh, you just stand there with your mouth closed like you always do. <laughs> yeah, hit it. <laughs> what would you do? Just stand up and walk out on me. No, lend me your ear and I'll sing you a song. I will try not to sing out of key. Oh. 
a duet up in here. Oh my goodness. Look at you guys. Okay, Mel B. Oh, this is your girl. Gosh. I know. You are just hands down incredible, incredible, <laughs> incredible. I mean, you're 12, you're 12 years old, right? You're self-taught. You, you, were, you was so shy, and look at you now. And I've, I've said this from the very beginning, hence you're my golden buzzer. You could win this, but everyone has to vote for her. They all have to vote for her right now. You are just, you're so poised. And I still don't know how you do it, because I try and watch for your mouth moving, and you are that professional. You're amazing. Oh my God, I'm running out of breath. You're amazing. <laughs> Hi. Absolutely amazing. You are amazing, and it has been amazing watching you all season, and you just, you just have that special something that not everyone has, and you might have just won yourself a million dollars right yeah! there. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Simon, these ladies are trying to make some kind of predictions. Well, look, we are being very complimentary tonight, but for all the right reasons, because America has got it right. We've got the right 10 people here. Everyone has raised their game. This is what I think about you, Darcy, when you can appeal to all ages with what you've done. But the, this is what I believe. The best part of doing this job is when you are there and you can say, I was there at the beginning of someone's career and I witnessed a star. Tonight, again, I've just witnessed a star emerge because that's what you are. You are special, incredible, funny, talented. I think you're going to win. Very yeah. pensive face you have right now. I'm Pardon looking. me? Very pensive. Because I think that everybody's right. I think, and, and if you look previously coming into this, you're the most popular person in, on this show on the internet. So people got to vote. And you remind me of every reason why I got into this business. I used to watch the Ed Sullivan Show. That's where I first found the Beatles. I used to see Topo Gijo, puppets, kids, and everything. And all that is in one act, and it's Darcy Lynn. So you delivered. So. I just have to ask these two puppets, how do you feel inspiring all these kids all over the world and country? They're trying to be like y'all. Um, I, I feel great. I, I love you, Mel B. Oh. And what about you, Petunia? How do you feel about those kids well, trying to be like we, you? Well, we all know I'm the star. <laughs> all right, well, good luck to you tonight, Darcy. All right, it's really simple. If you want Darcy to win a million dollars, you must vote. There's a bunch of different ways to do it, and you have until 7 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. America, here is your winner. Good luck to both of you. America has voted. The winner of the $1 million and the star of the headline show in Las Vegas is... Darcy and her sidekick, Katie. Hey, listen, 
this isn't a good time. I'm about to perform for little big shots. Okay, sounds like fun. I'll leave Katie at home. Will you get off the phone? <laughs> oh, she won't care. She's just a puppet, remember? <laughs> okay, okay, bye. Will the puppet would like to entertain this nice audience, Chatterbox? Where in the world are we? We're here in jolly old England. England? Yeah, are you ready to show England how we do things in America? You betcha. Finally, I get to sing a yodel. Yodel, hit it, boys. Certainly not every day that a 13-year-old gets to headline their own show in Las Vegas. But that's exactly what just happened to Oklahoma's own Darcy Lynn. And I flew to Vegas and got to spend the whole afternoon with her to see how she went from winning an Edmund talent show to winning a million bucks. Mm. In a town known for its nightlife, Las Vegas is one of the great meccas for entertainment. And one young Oklahoma City girl is who people are lining up to see. I think she's amazing. I love her. She's just so unique and sincere. Darcy's my inspiration. Darcy Lynn! Superstar ventriloquist Darcy Lynn, who thanks to winning America's Got Talent, gets to headline her very own Las Vegas show. It's easy to forget she just turned 13 until you get her into a toy store. My name is Darcy and my ears are moving. <laughs> we got the rare opportunity to hang out before her Vegas show as she goofed around with Dalton, one of her three brothers, and her mom. One, two, one. one. But as we left, it was clear her life has changed. People are taking pictures outside the window. <laughs> Can I get a red velvet with chocolate icing and um, caramel sauce? So what's it been like for you basically being suddenly famous? Everybody knows who you are. <laughs> uh, well, I don't really see myself as famous. Um, I try not to draw attention to myself at all. It's really quite odd. My husband and I, we'd walk through the casino and see her face all over these huge billboards and signs and we're like, that's Darcy's face. <laughs> Our daughter's face is on a Vegas sign. This is really happening. I really have my own show. It's crazy. I literally cannot believe it. <laughs> the car. Darcy's getting the star treatment, limo service around town, and hair and makeup before her big show. Darcy's actually been to Vegas before. You see, when she was just eight years old, she was in a pageant here when one of the other contestants performed ventriloquism, and it sparked her interest. My dad was like, Misty, let's just get her a puppet for her 10th birthday. This will be a passing fad. She entered an Edmund talent show and won. She had a certain sparkle about her. And the best way that I can explain it, I tell people she has this Ronnie Howard Shirley Temple magic about her. Gary Owen is a local professional ventriloquist and gave Darcy lessons for free. I had no idea where it would go. No, I had no idea where it would go at all. More than 200 hours of lessons and three years later, Darcy would hit it big. I can only say it this way. It was a God's meant to be. And then I got to sing with him and you know anything he can do, I can do better. So rewarding to sit back and watch this happen. 
to this little child who doesn't have an ego. She's a five-star student in school. She has a compassionate heart. It doesn't get any better than that. What was it like being out there in front of a Vegas crowd? Um, it was definitely exciting and definitely thrilling. Um, it's a little scary though. I, I always get nervous, but I had so much fun tonight. It was a great show. You did fantastic. I am so impressed because we were talking earlier on, I mean, you're just like a 13-year-old and any other kid, you know, going to school. But when you're up there, you have such a command of the stage. Where does that come <laughs> from? Uh, well, um, it's weird. I'm practically a whole different person on stage than I am off stage. I don't even know where it comes from, and yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> now, is that something new, too, because you involved the audience members? Yeah, um, I, that, that is um, one of my favorite parts, because the audience, of course, loves it, and because um, they love when you pick audience members to, you know, volunteer and do it, and I mean, it's kind of fun to <laughs> embarrass them, too, because they get so embarrassed, they're like, oh my goodness, it's, it's fun. It was so good. Well, I have to say, we are so proud of you from Oklahoma. I can speak on behalf of everybody there that we are so, so proud of you. So Thank congratulations you. on everything. And Thank we want to just follow your journey because it doesn't end here. This is just the beginning. How I found out about Darcy is through some people at my church who came up to me and they had attended Edmonds Got Talent. And this was in the fall of 2014. And knowing they know what I do, they came up to me and said, hey, we've got this little girl, saw this little girl last night on Edmonds Got Talent. She won adults and kids. And she's only been doing ventriloquism a month. She's self-taught and she yodels without moving her mouth. And she's 10 years old. And I'm like, this can't be, I'm not believing this. So I came home that afternoon, looked up on Facebook. Her mom had posted a video on Facebook and I was blown away. And what I saw was something really special because I judge kids at the International Ventriloquist Convention every year, and I've been doing this for a number of number of years. So I've seen a lot of kids doing ventriloquism, but this child had something different. It was, and I can't explain it, but she had a certain sparkle about her. And the best way that I can explain it, I tell people she has this Ronnie Howard Shirley Temple magic about her. So people who know those, saw them growing up, and you still see Ronnie Howard as a kid on the Andy Griffith Show, you know what I'm talking about. There's just something about that little something you'll want to just pick him up and hug him. And that's what Darcy has. And you spotted that. I spotted that immediately. The other thing was this child also had the, the basics down in a month. I mean, it just doesn't work that way. I can teach someone the basics, but to be as good as she is and then to yodel without moving her lips was phenomenal. And so my next approach was I got on the phone the next day with the Edmonds Arts Council. I gave them my phone number and said, I want to contact the parents and have them call me. I want to mentor this child. So a few weeks went by and then we go to lunch. We have a, a collaboration and they want to know why. You know, they said, the people don't do this. And I said, look, I'm at a point in my life where I want to give back. As time went on, uh, for about six months, I just basically worked on the fundamentals. And then she went to perform at Oklahoma's Got Talent in the spring of 2015 and she won the junior division and she won some pretty nice money. And uh, so I, I uh, counseled her parents and I said, look, she has enough money in her account now that she deserves a custom character. Let her pick it out. Let, and so I, I hooked them up with a custom vendor and uh, we gave them all the characteristics that she wanted in the character and thus Katie the Yodeling Cowgirl was born. So the next thing is um, she does the show at the school and it gets I think, I'm pretty sure it got close to 8 million views in 30 days. Now that's about the window that America's Got Talent starts calling and they called me, wanted me to be on the show, it was my second time to turn them down. I said, however, I am coaching this little girl named Darcy and I want you to take a look at her video. I'll tell you, it has been, it has been really rewarding to work with this child because she retains everything. She's a quick learner. Um, her show in Vegas. Uh, we literally worked a couple of days before she went out. She got them, I wrote the scripts and within 24 hours and then she had a day or two to learn them and she's ready to go. I mean, she's, she's extremely talented in that regard. 
And so for someone at my age, at this point in my life, to give back to a child like that and know that she's going to have a bright future and that I had something to do that, to do with that, that's just, I mean, that's the crown jewel for my life. As you're doing the show now, um, how are you feeling tonight? Because we have a show here in a couple of hours. Yes, um, I'm, I'm so excited. Every time I do the show, I'm so excited because the audience is great. The crew, the producers, they're all awesome. And um, I still get a little bit nervous, though, even though it's my third show and I kind of got it down, but I'm just, I'm more excited. So like, is there a point when you get out there that the nerves start to go away when you're on stage? Yeah, when I'm on stage, uh, yeah, it's more like I go out there and I'm a little nervous, you know, but then once I get going, it's way better. And I'm like, okay, I got this, you know. <laughs> That kind of self-confidence happens in the middle of my performance. So I have to know, before we go any uh, further with the interview, because every time I watch you perform, I ask myself, how does she do that? How do you do that? <laughs> do you get asked that all the time? Yes. Um, I mean, everybody asks me that, and I can't really explain it myself. Um, it's really more of a God-given talent, and um, I don't even know how to explain I do it, I just do it. <laughs> really, it's all other, yeah, that's all. I, just, I don't know how I do it. Well, I mean, you, you have that talent, but you've also had to practice a lot with this to just kind of hone in on it. Um, yes, I did. Um, it definitely took a lot of hard work, um, um, and it hard work paid off, and now I'm here in Vegas have my own show, it's just pretty cool. It is. So, like, have you had to put in some rehearsal time this week leading up to the show? Like, what have you had to do to get ready to headline your own show? Um, I've had to do, I mean, all I have to do is rehearse, 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 you know, and just get everything down perfect, because I want the, enjoy, the audience to enjoy it, and, um, and I want it to be good. Um, and I wanted to do my very best because it's a Vegas show and my very first one and um, I wanted to make it all good so I've just been rehearsing like crazy. I bet, I bet. Well, let me, I was about to ask you, do you want me to hold that? Yes, uh, well now you have uh, my new mail work on. We don't have to. Mic check one, two, three, four, five. You want to hold it a little bit lower? You think it's good? Okay. I can hold my microphone. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, so what's it been like for you, basically being suddenly famous? Everybody knows who you are now. <laughs> uh, well, I don't really see myself as famous. <laughs> I guess some people, I guess a lot of people see me as famous, but it's just crazy to think that people think I'm a celebrity or famous because I don't see myself that way. <laughs> well, they kind of do because I mean I just got a small glimpse of it walking through here. But is that kind of what it's like now when you go out? Yeah. Yeah, um, I try not to draw attention to myself at all. <laughs> I do not like the attention. That's the only thing I do not like about this change. Um, um, but that's about it. It's just the publicity and the getting recognized in public that I don't like. Have you been but, able to you know, figure out why you don't like it? No, I don't know why. It's just, I don't know. I just, whenever, I don't, I don't, I guess I don't like the crowding around me. It's too overwhelming. I still like it. <laughs> but if you're up on stage, you're fine. Yeah, if I'm up on stage, it's great um, because you know they're down there and I know they're enjoying it and um, yeah, and they're not crowding around me. So they're yeah, cheering that, for me. So it's that's your space right yeah, there. Yeah. So you're from Oklahoma. We're from Oklahoma. Yes. Uh, what's it like to be kind of you know an Oklahoma girl hitting it big? Oh, it feels great because I know. Um, it's good to know that I have a whole state kind of behind me, supporting me um, through my whole journey, and um, I'm just glad to be an Oklahoma girl because I really love the state of Oklahoma, and I don't plan on moving anytime soon out of this, out of the Austin state. But I just love living there and, and um, making them proud. Oh, and we are so proud of you, Darcy. We <laughs> are. We are. Um, okay, so since winning. You got a nice little chunk of money. Yeah. Have you gone out and bought anything since then? Um, for yourself? Not really. I did get a new phone for my birthday. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, and I was over the top excited about that. Like, I literally screamed. I was on it the whole day, taking pictures, because it has that new portrait mode thing that, like, blurs the background, and it looks so cool. It was, it was really cool. But I haven't bought anything yet, but we're 
definitely planning on giving some away to like a mission of my choice at my church and then hopefully and I and we're planning on going to Hawaii in the spring. Your brothers will like that for sure. I, I'm so excited. My dream vacation is Clearwater Beach. Oh fun. So have they been getting after you, your brothers, about like sharing some of your wealth? <laughs> I mean the wealth is not really mine. I mean my whole family it's it's all it's all shared. I mean it's it's to it's all of ours. Like it's not just mine. <laughs> Are you saving too? Yes, I'm definitely gonna save a lot. Um, most of it. And my um, for you know college, a car, uh, things are, that are more important. You know, just going out and buying all the stuff you want. But you got your phone, so that's yeah, uh, I got that. I'm really excited. What would you say the biggest change is since you won and getting ready for the show? Um. Well, the biggest change, like I said, is getting noticed in public. Like it. It's so different now. I can't just go out and be um, normal. I have to take pictures everywhere I go. Same thing in Oklahoma when you go there too. Yeah, that it happens a lot there too. But you know, it's I guess you have to, you know, because there isn't anything I can do about it. Part of the territory. Yeah, so it's you're, part you're of 13 it. years old. Yeah. Um, what do you like to do in your spare time? Although I know you don't have much of it. <laughs> um, I love hanging out with my friends. Um, that's my friends are definitely super duper important to me, and they've been number one Darcy supporter since day one. I I love them so much. So I mostly hang out with all my friends. Um, I love um, going to the lake, and I love water skiing. It's really fun, and um, I like doing family stuff, hanging out with my family, and I love watching. Um, Hallmark movies with my best friend Lily, <laughs> like the like the, the the drama Hallmark movies about love stories. I love them all. They're so good. My co-anchor Kelly Ogle loves Hallmark movies. That's his oh. like his little hidden secret. <laughs> really, <laughs> Kelly Darcy loves Hallmark movies too. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, um, so okay, we talked a little bit about you rehearsing everything. Okay, so you've done a couple shows so far in Vegas. What stood out to you about the shows? And just the experience around it. Really, just everyone here loves you. I mean, when I came here, I thought, you know, they would have a, an idea in their mind of what they wanted me to do. And they were like, oh, no, we want you to be comfortable. We want you to do whatever you want. And it, it, it just really felt really homey. And, I mean, all of the people who put it together, they're just amazing um, at what they do. I'm so... I'm so like blown away at how quickly we got this show together. And Preacher and Life Balance Angelica, I love seeing I love seeing them again um, because it was just so awesome seeing like because I have come become such good friends with everyone yeah, there at them and Yeah, because it was it was not a competition. It was literally a family. So it was just it kind of felt like AGT all over again. That's awesome. Everybody be getting back together. Yeah. Um, Doing a show, though, I mean, when did it sink into you that you were going to be the headliner of your show? Oh, my goodness. Um, probably when I got here and I was, like, in the um, theater and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is really happening. I really have my own show. It's crazy. I literally cannot believe it. <laughs> Has there been any curves? Because, I mean, like, for instance, I mean, you got to ride in a limo over here, you know, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Um... I've gotten to ride in a few limos this trip, and riding in the limo never gets old. I love it. It's so much fun. I just, I feel like, you know, I'm important, and I'm like, yeah, it's really cool. I love it. <laughs> Not every 13-year-old gets to do that. No. You just had a birthday, too, didn't you? Yes, That's I did. Awesome. October 12th. Very I was super excited to turn 13. <laughs> um, okay, so... Um, and we kind of touched on this a little bit, but how you got interested in ventriloquism to begin with. You had seen somebody else do it at a pageant that you had been. Yeah, I mean, originally, um, I was, when I was little, I was painfully shy. Um, and so my mom put me in pageants um, to help me gradually come out of my shell. And so I went to this one pageant. It was an international pageant here in Vegas. And funny thing, here in Vegas. And then... Um, 
doing for your headlining performance? Um, yes, he was a big help in that. I mean, writing my material is uh, basically a huge collaboration between me, my parents, and my coach, Gary. Gotcha. Okay. Are we getting close on time? Is it, okay. No, we're good. We're good. Uh, can I yeah. ask you the one thing I would love to have you guys talk auditions. about? We have auditions coming up for the next season. Okay. They start actually this weekend. Yeah, we're kicking so, off in Orlando, um, right? This weekend? Are yeah, we, we start this weekend and we go to a bunch of different cities. And anyone can audition online at agtauditions.com. Do you remember when you auditioned? Yes. Were you nervous? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was literally going to puke. I was literally going to puke. <laughs> but it was definitely worth it because it paid off. That's yeah, and I definitely recommend for people all over to audition because it's worth it. You could even maybe it. even have a bigger message too to everybody because you basically followed your dream. You didn't let anybody say, no, you can't do this. No, no. Um, it did take my parents a while to kind of accept the fact that I wanted to do this because um, the first time I asked for a puppet, she was like, no. She was like, you're a singer, not a ventriloquist. You already have three brothers. That's too much on our plate. And, but my dad was like, Misty, let's just get her a puppet for her 10th birthday. This will be a passing fad. But it wasn't. And um, now I have my own show in Vegas. So it's just, it's crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, would you tell other people like your age, just, you know, believe in yourself? Or what oh, would yeah. your message be to them? Um, just to go for it, no matter what people say, no matter what they think of you. Don't be scared. Um, but definitely just do your thing like nobody's watching because you'll never know what will happen. What is next for Darcy Lynn? Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know. I am just excited to see what comes in store for me after this Vegas show. Hopefully big things. 